Mono Blue Ponza is currently at 37,000 views and it is our most popular video on the channel currently. I had a lot of people come up to me and say, hey Marin, I know you, I saw your Mono Blue Ponza video, it was so cool. And so since everybody loved it so much, we are going to revisit it and do it better this time. Because last time we played it, I brewed up a version, it was a rough draft, we ended up with a record of like 2 and 3 or 3 and 2, and we can definitely further refine the deck and do better this time. And uh, it definitely deserves a redo because it was definitely one of the funnest if not the funnest deck we've ever played on the channel quick note uh the original idea of mono blue hansa was sent to me by zero dame at zero dame so thank you very much for at zero dame for spawning this super cool archetype and we have to do it some justice today let's jump right into the deck tech followed by the gameplay hope you enjoy This video is sponsored by mtgonlinestore.com. For some cool and creative MTG apparel and accessories, everything from t-shirts to backpacks, check out mtgonlinestore.com and use promo code MARIN for 15% off your next order. And it also supports the show. Link is down below. If you wanted to pick up today's deck while also supporting the channel, you can get your cards from tcgplayer.com by clicking the decklist link down below. This video is supported by our generous patrons. If you wanted to join the Marination as well, you can find our Patreon link down below in the description, and you'll also gain access to our Patreon-exclusive Discord server, where we discuss future Fan Fridays episodes as well as many other things. So Mono Blue Ponza honestly feels like on paper, it feels like a pretty decent mid-range deck actually. It feels pretty good and it's a lot of fun to play. And the only thing that's really actually scary for this deck is probably aggro decks and like burn just really cheap low to the ground go wide aggro decks are going to be very difficult for us to deal with but if anything is actually mildly slow or slow uh this deck should do wonders against it and uh, one of the main things that i missed the last time that i built the deck was i forgot about chalice of the void when i was building the deck so now we have it in the sideboard as opposed to the main board because we got some new toys so let's check out the deck and see what's new so when the game starts out, we want to use effects like Boomerang and Eye of Nowhere to bounce the opponent's turn one and or two lands back to their hand to keep them mana screwed while we progress our mana base. Then we also got some enchantment based mana denial in Seize Claim and Spreading Seas, which turn lands into islands. So it doesn't quite deal with the land, but it color screws them. And when we're bouncing all the rest of their lands, this uh, color screw should be pretty decent. And then we got a couple copies of Annex as well, which steals the land. We enchant the land and we gain control of it. This should help ramp us into our later bombs. We even got some counter spells. Cryptic Command can counter a spell, but can also bounce target permanent, which can bounce a land just like Boomerang and Eye of Nowhere. So counter bounce is a thing we're going to do a lot. Then we got three copies of Remand as well, because when we're mana denying our opponent, uh, Remand is going to be effective for a good majority of the game because it's going to be very hard for them to recast the thing we Remand if we're denying their mana. And then on to our bombs, uh, we got a couple copies of Jace. This is good to resolve once we put our opponent way down on land drops and stuff, and then Jace on an empty board or Jace bouncing a creature could be a good way to stabilize and get in a winning position. Then we got two copies of Tamio. And Tamio, when it gets to that ult, it's just game over because we keep getting boomerangs back forever. Um, but the main thing that Tamio is in here for is when you plus one, you can tap down a permanent and it doesn't untap during its controller's untap step. So Tamio's plus is like the perfect walker for us because it's like mana denial in a walker, which is exactly what this deck wants to do. And then we got three copies of Frost Titan. This is kind of our main finisher. It's very difficult for the opponent to target it because they have to pay an additional two mana. And when we're denying their lands, it's going to be difficult for them to do that. And it it also taps down lands when it enters or when it attacks. Back in these guys is going to be pretty unbeatable. And then onto our last spell, we got a playset of Snapcaster Mage. Of course, a blue deck has a playset of Snapcaster Mage. Really good for flashing back things like Cryptic Command, or even on turn four, we just snap back a Boomerang or Eye of Nowhere to further deny our opponent's mana. We got a total of 24 lands. Now, last time I built the deck, I put in a play set of gemstone caverns and realized that was a rookie mistake. So I took out two of them and we got two left. We kept the play set of encroaching waste from last time because it was an all-star, basically four mana destroy target land. And we end up snapping that off as soon as we get the chance to. Onto the sideboard, we got a play set of Chalice of the Void. This is uh, really great for those low to the ground decks that have things like Thought Seas or burn decks like Goblin Guide, Monastery, Swiss Spear, Bolts, Lava Spikes. So this is going to be pretty good to bring in. So I didn't want to put this in the main board. Uh, the main reason being uh, Seas Claim is possible turn one mana denial and we want to get out the gates denying mana as quick as we possibly can. So Chalice of the Void will only come into matches where it's completely relevant. 
And then we got two copies of Relic of Prague to deny graveyards. Don't gotta go too heavy on graveyard now that Hogak is gone. It's still relevant, but there's not as much graveyard decks definitely as there was a week ago. And then we have two copies of Narset Parter of Veils. Uh, this is really great for combo decks that are just trying to storm off and draw their deck. Uh, Narset's not going to allow them to. Then we got a play set of Force of Negation. This is good for combo decks as well, as well as decks that have big planeswalkers like Tron and Control. And then we got three copies of Dissipation Field. This is our main answer to Creature Aggro. Creature Aggro is the scariest matchup for us. So Dissipation Field says, I know this one's not too familiar with all you guys, but whenever a creature deals combat damage to you, you bounce it back to its controller's hand. So if it bounces back to their hand and then we deny their mana on that same turn, uh, it's going to be very difficult for them to recast their spells, especially at that point. We should have like a Cryptic Command or a Remand up at that point. So hopefully this will stem the bleeding. Uh, this was pretty creative on my part to put this in here. Hopefully it does some justice and works out for us. Well, I'm still extremely terrified of aggro, but we'll see how it goes. So I'll get the stream started and I'll see you in the first round. Got a game here against Sheep Mage. Is that a Karn avatar? Stone Hewer Giants. I'm going to hope they're on Tron. But since that's a Stone Hewer Giant avatar, I assume they're on a Stoneforge Mystic deck. So that's unfortunate. We got a Mole Zero Lander. Uh, and we are on the play with some Mono Luponza. I'm going to keep this hand. This hand looks better. I I'm sorry, Tamio, but you gots to go. Tamio's gots to go because I'm going to need my my uh, bounces. So as long as I don't have a one drop to play, this should be pretty good. Bounce, 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 bounce. Just deny their mana until we got five mana. Let's keep this. Throw away Tamio. Done. Island go. So hope for no turn one place from the opponent and we'll be able to deny them until we have five mana. So they'll have one mana and we'll have five mana. Don't be Aether Vile. Simeon Spirit Guide. Is this Chalice? Because Chalice is fine. Suppression Field. That's fine. That does stop our walkers, but good thing we bought him to walker. This is Red, White, Sun, and Moon. Seeing as how they had to exile Simeon Spirit Guide in the first turn, hopefully they're missing their land drops for a while. This seems okay. We definitely want to run into slow matchups like this. Sacred Foundry. That's going to get bounced. Oh, we got to hit our land, though. Got to hit our land. Double Cryptic Command to bounce, bounce, draw, bounce, draw two times in a row would be amazing if we can do that. Hopefully we can do that. Sacred Foundry tapped. Come on, land. Come on, land. We need the land or else we're screwed. That's a land. All right. Uh, so, bounce draw. Did it work? Can I get a bomb? All right. Cease claim does shut down a land, I guess. All right. What you got? Snowcrow Plains are either doing something here. Oh, nothing. Okay. They didn't want to play their Sacred Foundry. All right, let's uh, bounce draw again. Can I get a Snapcaster? <laughs> Gemstone Caverns. All right, so we have Frost Titan mana. We just got to draw one. Going to discard again. All right, come on. Make this land bounce worth it, deck. Give me a Frost Titan, give me a Jace, give me a Tamio. I have nowhere. Well, at least we're denying a little bit longer. Oh, I see the reason that they played uh, Planes, because we got Encroaching Wastes. That's why. So they're discarding all their, their non-basics. They're discarding their Sacred Foundries because I have Encroaching Wastes. Alright. Something good? Bomb? Bomb, please? Nope, no bombs. No bombs. And they discarded all their sacred foundries. Man, I, I should have sandbagged that encroaching wastes. I should have sandbagged it. It would have came in clutch. Would have bought us another turn. I'll spell it for you. Or I'll, I'll just show you the card in Tifa. This is what it does. Destroy, destroy a target on basic land. Alright, that uh, lane and arbor is getting remanded. I tapped the wrong mana, but that works too. 
Dude, come on. I can't hit my... I can't hit my bombs. I bounced their stuff for so long, I just need a bomb. Well, I have one last turn to draw something, because we're at four. Any follow-up? Alright, there's a follow-up. Remand this. Still nothing. Still nothing. Anything. Nope. Just absolute total flood. What is this? We drew one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. And what is this? Like 13 lands. We went 25 cards deep in our deck and saw none of our none of our bombs. None of our bombs. 25 cards deep. Alright, so bring in force and negation and negate. Uh bring in uh that's probably it, right? Force negation and negate. But I like all of my main board against them. I, I like my entire main board against them, so I think that I'm fine. How it is, but like the only thing we're scared of, like for not bringing in these, is like Chandra, which we have Crypto Command for, which hopefully we'll use it for that. But I think I'm just gonna submit it right back. Islands during hurricane season are prone to flooding. Is it hurricane season? We don't ever get like hurricanes in California, though. I've there's only ever been one serious like crazy wind here and it was when I was a kid and yeah like it it blew trash cans over and such but like it's not anything like you guys have where you live like I've never I've never experienced a natural disaster like no tornadoes no no earthquakes I mean there's been earthquakes here all the time but I never feel them yes I would like to play first that's spreading season boomerang. I'm gonna keep it, although we are a little color screwed, but hopefully spreading season help us find a color so that we can boomerang. What about wildfires? Yeah, there's been wildfires here, and I'm definitely driven through uh like a cloudy sky where like smoke from wildfires, but like I've never like there's definitely been people around my town wearing masks because of the smoke in the air, but I've never like been around or near a wildfire. All right, what does Leyline do, like, for us? I don't think it really does anything to us. Sacred Foundry. Simeon Spirit Guide. Turn one Arbiter. Turn one Arbiter. All right. Well, we can surprise block that with Snap. Ooh, we got Boomerang. All right, so let's, uh... Or we got the mana for boomerang, so it's boomerang. And uh, at some point, I will surprise block with snap. Your foundry tapped. Gets him with arbiter. We will take it. All right, so let's spreading seas. Draw a card. Annex. All right, annex is pretty cool. That ramps us into Frost Titan next, next turn. Which would be great. No follow up? Yay, no follow up. And we're hitting our islands, yay. So let's annex the Inspiring Vantage. But now we're tapped out, so if they have a Ghost Quarter, they can use it. And let's pass. You lived in Cali for a few years. Y'all got neutral neural disasters? What's neural disasters? All you got in Texas is just flooding. You live on high ground. You don't even get that, really. But I thought that places like in Arizona and in Nevada and in Texas, they don't flood because there's no water there. <laughs> is it just from all the, the dams? 
All right, so now we can Frost Titan, and Frost Titan should be a good one. So tap down that planes. No planes for you. So this is what this deck wants to do. It wants to like bounce your first two lands or disrupt your first two lands, then steal another land with the annex or just deal with another land and then frost titan you when you have two mana, <laughs> leaving you with one mana where you can't deal with frost titan. So that is that is what this deck wants to do. Um, and it looks like it worked out. And now I have encroaching wastes to blow this up. Oh, they got- they got Suppression Field. Oh, I almost conceded. Alright, so let's, uh, Encroaching Waste that thing. And now we can go to combat and tap down that planes once again. Thanks, Suppression Field, stopping my Encroaching Wastes. Almost making me concede on accident. Deserts have rainy seasons. I've never seen rain in a desert. It would be so cool to see rain in a desert. Imagine, like, this is something my brother has brought up to me. Imagine walking up to a desert, walking through a desert in the rain. Like, I have never seen that. That'd be a lot of mud. It'd be hard to trek through that. All right, so let's, um... See... I guess we can encroaching wastes again. Go to combat. Get in there. Keep tapping down their planes. This is working nicely. Texas is next to the Gulf Coast. Creates a lot of interesting set of weather patterns. See, you have hills in between the coast and the plains, so the coast gets really humid and the plains just stays hot with the occasional tornado over there. I've never seen a tornado in, um, in California. Never. Um, and I've been living in California all my life. Our opponent scoops it up. They realize they're dead. And we're going to submit it right back. Although, force and negation on the draw might actually be worth it. Might actually be worth it. Let's bring in one of those. Let's cut a remand. Let's cut two remands. I think that force negation might be important here. Because they might have like Karn or Chandra that they can drop. The only time you did see it in person was in California. Dang. I mean, I've seen I've seen tornadoes, uh, at least small tornadoes, uh driving through the Mojave Desert a few times. Um but I've never seen it in California. If you see one in California, it's usually just a little a little dust a little dust bunny. A little dust bunny tornado. Texas rain is beautiful because the sun doesn't always get blotted out, so you have sunny rainy days. Oh yeah, we've had those in, in uh, California, sunny rainy days. It's very weird, but it's a thing that happens. No. I'm in the I'm right in the middle. SF Bay area. Where uh, Tolarian Community College used to be based at, around that area. Okay, this looks... This looks okay. Doesn't look good. Like, we can bounce a land and hope to draw another piece of land in Nile. But in the meanwhile, we can force him to gate something. Even the community colleges are priced out of the bay. Everything here is too expensive. Nobody come here. Unless you're rich, don't come to California. Or at least the SF Bay area. Or the LA area. Or the Sacramento area, maybe. Counselor of the Tangle on turn zero. Just for that free manas. Sorcerer Spyglass. Thank goodness that doesn't do anything to us here. They're naming Jace or they're naming Tamio. Where are they naming? I don't think anything is too scary here. Like, they're probably going to name Encroaching Wastes. If they can spell it. 
They do name encroaching wastes. All right, island go. I hope I don't have to use this force negation. I wouldn't like to. They're already pretty low on cards. Four cards left in hand. What are they tapping out for? Nothing. Wow, giving us a chance. There's a cryptic command too, so I would definitely like to draw another piece of um another piece of um land bounce or land denial because I want this cryptic command to be useful cuz I have two frost sightings to get up to, so I'm feeling pretty good. Oh no, no don't have six. I don't have all auto yields. Got a hold of this force and negation. They draw two drop to play. Force and mean spirit guide. Nothing. Now I get to hold a force negation. Come on, land denial. Encroaching wastes, which is useless. Alright, so they're going to be able to actually play something here. Hopefully it's something that is force negatable. Three manas. Do they have even mind sensor to flash in? Sack was cheap. You lived just north of, north of that near Roseville. I did too. For a little bit, I lived in Davis, which is like right near Sack. I was homeless for a bit, so my brother took me in. All right. Hello. Let's go for bounce a permanent. Bounce this uh, inspiring vantage. Draw a card. Tapping out here, but at least we get to still hold up force negation. What's up, Hellman nine one one? Thanks for the follow. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. There's a boomerang, so we can boomerang something next turn as well. Further deny manas. Keep them off of that Chandra. Thalia is very annoying. But that doesn't stop our Frost Titans from coming down. And we can still boomerang a land here. Alright, so play an island. And let's boomerang a land. And then next turn we go titan and the next turn we go titan and i think that they can't deal with that plays the land back out again what's up poseidon soiden did you change your name i could have sworn your name your username wasn't spelled like that before poseidon is that like a new evolution Boomerang the Thalia and trick them into thinking it matters. Well, we're going Frost Titan here. They have Path the Exile, congratulations, but you can't actually even Path the Exile because um, you gotta pay two extra and also cost two from Thalia, so you just cannot do it. Uh, so this Frost Titan is here to stay. So that that Thalia is actually good for me. And uh, we're gonna be able to fall up with the second Frost Titan and then we can eventually encroaching away something if we can get rid of that Sorcerer Spyglass and be a good time love your crazy bruce thanks for the content well thank you very much for the kind words i appreciate it thanks for coming out here to the stream a tap sacred foundry foundry yep you got a thalia you can't play whatever it is you were gonna play opponent you cannot do it C's claim is interesting, although I do definitely have to Frost Titan here. So let's tap down that Socketed Foundry and go to combat and get in there with this Titan and tap down this Inspiring Vantage. Yeah, with Force held up too, and I can pay for it. That Thalia is helping me a lot. I'm glad. I'm I'm surprised they didn't chump with Thalia there. Because I think they need that Thalia gone. <laughs> and I'm going to be able to color screw them here with C's claim as well. Ghost quarter.
And now all I have to do is just tap down both of their blockers. Actually, no. They would live on one. I gotta deny their mana for another turn. Tamio is great. Tammy song. All right, so let's get out Tamio. Tamio is going to tap down their planes. Go to combat. Go attacking with both. Tap down inspiring wantage and sacred foundry. Sacred foundry. And get in there for 12. See if they would like to chump block yet. And then I can follow up with C's claiming their horizon canopy, so they're literally left with no colors. <laughs> That'd be great. And if they want to crack that in response, that's fine. Well, I think it's smartest to just keep leaving up force and negation. Prevent any answers. So let's just pass and leave up force and negation. I, I, I don't want to, like, I think it's the smartest thing to do, to just, like... Keep up the protection. And they even uh, saw our hand with Sorcerer Spyglass, so they know we have it. Another canopy. So what creature spell do you have for three or less that would beat us here? Now they can pop the exile if they have it, but it's not going to resolve. Um, ba -da, ba -ba -ba -ba. We got there! Finally! <laughs> it's about time, man. Taking down red, white, death, and taxes. That was very cool. I like the, the idea of ch the Chancellor, the Tangle, or whatever, and the Simeon Spirit Guide to get out of turn one Thalia, or turn one Chalice, or turn one Arbiter. Didn't see Chalice from our deck, but they probably sided it out. Um, but yeah, I, I wanted to build that deck, actually, so it's Pretty cool to see it there. Um, but fortunately, we tempted him out. Got a game here against Joppinuzo. And yes, going to be in the play with some mono blue Ponza. And I'm going to keep that hand because we can bounce two lands in a row. And if we draw lands, we can annex something into a Titan. So if we can hit our land drops, which we haven't been having a lot of luck with today, unfortunately, um, this should be good. Oh, they got a gemstone cavern. That completely counteracts the fact that we're trying to deny mana. That's unfortunate. Now they're going to get out a turn one, um, something on turn one. Nothing? Okay, because bouncing gemstone caverns is actually pretty sweet. Because now it's no longer five color land, and now it's just a colorless land again. And I missed my land drop, unfortunately. I missed my land drop again, unfortunately. I want you to play that on the channel so bad you love that deck. Well, submit a list. If it's cool enough, we'll play it. Oh, come on. I need a land here because C's claim to follow up would be sweet. Don't be a colorless land. And it's not a land at all. We are getting land screwed yet again. Um, I hope I'm not spoiling something too much if, if this is an earlier match, but... Um, and that's a Chandra. I'm just going to scoop it up. Um, we've been getting land screwed like every single round today. All right, I definitely need Force of Negation and Negate here for sure. And then I can go ahead and cut. Uh, Remand seemed great. Annex is fine. Cameo's fine. Frostline's fine. Everything here is fine. I think I can afford to cut some Snapcasters, though. Yeah, let's just cut all the snaps. Because I definitely want all this other stuff. Would you like to play first? Yes. Uh, we have one piece of hand denial. I'm going to keep it. 
we can deny a color and then we can negate something and then cryptic will bounce a land draw bounce a land draw and then from that point hopefully we'll find some bombs to drop it's not super disruptive uh usually we like to have at least two pieces of hand disruption or land disruption in our opener that are less than four mana um but this might do and they have the starting gemstone caverns unfortunately so if they do have simian spirit guide oh they'll be able to get out something scary they're down to three cards in hand so they definitely kept this hand for a reason got simian spirit guide into chandra rabble all right so we did not bring in dissipation field and we have no way to deal with that so the only way to deal with that is if we can bounce it and then deny their mana so there's still a chance of that going on so let's spread seas on the gemstone caverns and hope they whiff on lands forever and then we have to top deck a um a way to bounce that or we can just survive up to four mana and use cryptic to bounce it Okay, there's a remand. That is a lot of goblins. Down to five. Hard cast that means spirit guide. That will get remanded. Another spreading seas. Alright, so we're gonna have to tab draw forever with cryptic command only attack for four all right we'll take it now we can bounce rabble and draw and now we got to try to counter tap on the way back down All right, let's see if this works. Come on, cast it on your pre-combat main phase. All right, sweet. So counter target spell, tap all creatures. And now we just got to draw a snapcaster, which we don't have any anymore. And that is the game. But at least we can spread and seize these lands for fun. See if we can draw another one. It's a Tamiyo, unfortunately. Let's see what we get here. Echoing Truth? No Echoing Truth. And that is the game. Alright, well, the turn one rabble will do it. Got a game here against Gin Cola, and we are on the draw with some Modern Blue Ponza. Can we go up against Tron, please? I would like to go up against Tron. What avatar is that? Sisters of Stone Death. I'm gonna keep this hand. Come on, be Tron. No Tron, but that is something that I can seize claim. Could be Jess guy, so I might be helping them here, but whatever. Alright, so what colors are they? Just red, white. Oh, is this burn? Is this budget burn? Did we completely just nerf them? Are we completely nerfing them here? Come on, rage quit. <laughs> rage quit, come on. Raise the alarm. Dang! Alright, well we're gonna have to... Tap those later. Oh, if they can convoke out like a triplicate spirit, so I'm gonna be super sad. There's a Jace. Jace can start bouncing dudes. Another spreading seas. Another one. And they are to oh, is this midnight haunting? Another raise the alarm. I hope they're not polymorph and I fixed them. All right, I'm gonna have to slowly but surely deal with those soldiers. It's gonna be a little bit difficult, but we can do it. And did they whiff on their land? Seeing as how the red-white budget tokens, I assume they whiffed on the land. Yes, all right, sweet. I have nowhere is good for uh, dealing with stuff. So I think I'm gonna hold up Crypto Command to like counter a spell and bounce a soldier. I gotta deal with these soldiers one by one, so I'm, I'm definitely going to let them attack, see if anything happens, and I'm gonna bounce draw. So return permanent to his owner's hand draw card. So bounce draw on a soldier. There's one gone. 
Jace can bounce another. Tamio can tick up on another, which I'm about to do right now. And they missed the land drop. Sweet. So now Tamio's coming down. All right, Tamio. Tap one of these soldiers, please. And then uh, I have nowhere can deal with another one. A force of virtue? <sighs> Dang, that's a bummer. That's a good one. And they can get this thing out over and over again since we're denying their mana. Are they attacking? They're attacking Tamio. All right. All right, well, tap down a soldier. Play an island. Get down Jace. Balance a soldier. And then we can just, I have nowhere, the last soldier. It's a sorcery, so we gotta do it now. All right, so board successfully dealt with. Now stop cheating things in. <laughs> How they scoop it up. Nice. We got the commanding board state. Dealt with three lands. Got down two walkers. And now we're controlling the game. So against red-white tokens. Red-white force of virtue tokens. Oh, dang. Dissipation field is great here. Dissipation field is amazing here. Bounce things that deal damage to us. Yeah, tokens are dead. Um, What else do we want? That's probably it. So dissipation field is in. What is out? Um, probably, um, uh, I like our, I like our cheap land destruction. Our, our boomerang effects are good. Maybe snaps or remands. Like, I like remands too. Maybe not as much in this matchup since they're like, all our stuff is cheap, but two mana. That's, that's a good remandable target. I don't know. Maybe I cut the annexes. Jace's can bounce stuff, and I think that's relevant here. Um, I guess I'm gonna cut annexes and like one remand and try it like that. All right. Um, it's it's really iffy. Like. I'm gonna play an island. They're gonna be able to cast something on turn two, but then I bounce a land. They're just gonna play, replay it, do something again, and then I'm gonna have two things that resolved, and then I'm gonna remand the third thing. Oh man, this just feels very. Uh, I think I'm gonna mull. Okay, that's better. So let's keep that. Let's toss away an island because I think we can draw another island. I like the turn one C's claim better. All right. So they are going to fetch the Erd Mesa for a Sacred Foundry, which I will C's claim. And they did not do anything with it. Sweet. Sweet. And I get a Dissipation Field. Dissipation Field is the all-star. I definitely want to draw a Dissipation Field here. Dissipation Field, which is just four mana win the game enchantment. Like, for sure. Dude, stop. Just press OK. Thank you. Ross Titan, that'd be a nice uh, a nice finisher to get to. Hopefully Jace can brainstorm to some lands for us to play that. We got rewarded, yep. So I don't think they have anything to do on turn one. Like, what token cards do you have to play on turn one? Alright, there's a redundant Jace, unfortunately. Bounce the planes, which they're going to raise the alarm. So pesky. Disenchant! Oh, dang. That's a good one. Did y'all see the spoilers today? Yes, I did. I think that the Questling Beast is cool. I think that Once Upon a Time is super busted, super nuts. And I think that, uh, that, that, um, Whis Wish, Whisper Silk Cloak, the Whisper Silk Cloak that wishes, the Whisper Silk Cloth is crazy. And it's gonna be like CDH, just like Tutor for one, one generic mana. 
um, is crazy when you're going to go off. All right, so when Path Metal enters, it deals one damage to each creature that doesn't have Vigilance. Whenever you attack at least two or more creatures that have First Strike, Double Strike, Tramble, or Haste, uh, transform it into a crazy land that we're going to bounce. Opponent always stops under upkeep. Boomerang. Okay, I gotta draw a land. Boomerang this sacred foundry. We're gonna try to slow him as best as we can to get this Jace down safely. If we can get this Jace down safely next turn, that'd be great. But then I'm I'm scared about uh raise the alarm. Raise the alarm's terrifying. So we know they have another land in hand since they played a uh, Arid Mesa there. Boomerang again. Dude. Don't tell me I've raised the alarm. Oh, thank goodness it works. Just give me land. Give me a land. A land was the correct thing to bottom in that opener. Like, I wasn't going to bottom Jace. Jace is great. Don't gather the town soak. Honor the pure. Sure. Sure. Let me get down this Jace. Let me get down this Jace. Oh, no. Okay. Well, at least that's, that's definitely going to find us a land. So at least there's that. Just please cast something at sorcery speed. Force of Virtue. Dang. Okay. Any tokens are massive. But still, Dissipation Field just wins. Dissipation Field straight up wins. And I mean, we're going to remand it. Got to find a land. There's our land. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Spreading Seas. Definitely getting down Jace. Jace, brainstorm us into more lands, please. Dang! Okay, well, at least there's a dissipation field. I don't think they have Helix or Bolt to, like, kill Jace. I don't think they do. But if they do, that's best case scenario. But double spreading seas on their, their lands right now is going to be pretty good. That token's going to get bounced with Jace. Dang, all in, all in. All right, Jace, do work. So bounce this guy. Good. Bouncing him. Sweet, nice, all right. Double spreading sees their red white sources. All right, give me a land, please. There's our land. Sweet. Now, Jace will brainstorm us into a, th a sixth land for Frost Titan, and that will be the game. That should be the game. I mean, this dissipation field alone is game, but we're still doing the best things we can do. Encroaching wastes as well. And let's go ahead and brainstorm. Put back Jace and Gemstone Caverns, and let's Frost Titan. Tap down a Plains. And it is successfully tapped. Disenchant on one of our Spreading Seas, sure. Oh, they're going to wish they didn't waste that disenchant in a second once I play this dissipation field. Chandra Ac Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. They can kill our Jace here. They can definitely kill our Jace here. But well, good thing I have another Jace on top. Oh, dang. They transform their path of metal. Destroy a creature, choose a creature at random that attack this turn, destroy that creature. Okay. That's gonna get spreading seized. Alright, so let's... Oh, I can also encroaching waste that thing. Uh, let's play an island. Let's go to combat and let's attack... Let's attack the Chandra. 
chopping down the um, sacred foundry. And then let's spreading seize that special land. Get another Jace. Play another Jace. And let's... They're, they're in top deck mode, so I'm going to Fate Seal him. Raise the alarm. Do you want to put that on the bottom? I think so. It's an annoying card. And they scoop it up. They're not going to beat the Frost Titan plus Jace. Any tokens they do resolve are going to get bounced. And um, Frost Titan's pretty beefy. Taking down red-white budget tokens with Mono Blue Ponza. Got a game here against Gristlebuck. We played against Gristlebuck on the channel before. Gristlebuck. Gristlebuck on the channel before. And we're on the draw, and I'm going to keep this hand. So we got to hit a steady flow of lands. If we don't, then we are screwed out of playing these four drops. But I'm going to keep this hand and hope to hit some lands. Sideboard packed plan. Ancient Ziggurat. Okay, it's another Aether Vile deck, unfortunately. It's humans. And humans is our second worst matchup, so that's a shame. Um, but we're still going to give it a try because they didn't hit the turn one vial. And if they didn't have the turn one vial, that means there's a chance. But if they get out like a Thalia here, it's definitely over. Thalia or, or Kite Cell Freebooter, and I'll probably scoop. Um, this looks like a... Dahlia's Lieutenant, okay. So now all I can do is hope they don't have any more two drops. Alright, so let's... I have Nowhere bouncing their unclaimed territory. We'll eventually be able to bounce that Champion of the Parish with Jace. Let's hope they just have absolutely no two drops at all. They play another good two drop dude, I'll just scoop it up because we're not going to beat that. They got the vial. Alright, I'm not going to beat a vial. Let's go on to the next game and let's throw out Chalice of the Void. Actually, their Cavern of Souls completely stops this, but if they don't get Chalice of the... Or if I can like... If I can like stop their, their Cavern, Chalice of the Void's pretty good. So, but C's claim feels really good too, but I don't know. I guess I'm going to bring in Force Negation as well, because it's just, we cannot beat Vile. We just got to make sure we can beat Vile. Uh, Remand is, is pretty bad here. Dissipation Field is great, so let's bring in all the Dissipation Fields. And let's cut this. Let's cut a couple Snapcasters and run it like that. So, Operation Counter and Aether Vile and play a Chalice on one, and then go from there. So, would you like to be in the play? Yes. That has a Chalice on one, and I am I cannot mulligan against this deck because... Um, they're, they're very, very, very aggressive. We need all the cards we can get, basically, is what I'm saying. And we've been getting land screwed over and over again, so I'm going to keep the lands while I have them. Yeah, Cease Claim is really amazing here. Let's see if they sneak in the turn one Aether Vial. If they do, then we just scoop it up. Cavern of Souls is pretty scary because that's, that our Chalice of the Void doesn't beat that. And they have the turn one Champion of the Parish. All right. We're getting land flooded now. Alright, so Chalice of the Void on one. But unfortunately they got the cavern, so it doesn't do anything. And they got a Cavern of Souls again. So our counter spells will never will not do anything here. And they got a Thalia's attendant that's super aggressive. So if I don't draw dissipation field in the next couple turns, then it is over. I also need to draw a steady flow of uh, spreading seas too, to be able to hit those caverns. But stars could align. We did hit a Snapcaster, which can surprise block a Thalia's Lieutenant, which I will do. They got a Freebooter, unfortunately. I'm just going to scoop this one up. I'm not going to beat that. Alright, so they got there. Got a game here against I Am Locust FTU. I don't know what that stands for, but yes, we're gonna be in the play with some Mono Blue Ponza. And that is a keep. We do not have double blue for Boomerang and I of Nowhere, but we can double spreading season remand. And hopefully that will be effective. So hoping to draw another island. 
Uh, spreading seas and remand should help us get the island, though. 24 in the deck. What's up, Thunder... Thunder Sass? Looks like we're gonna have some primo jank tonight. You are exactly right. No! They got a fetch land that I can't bounce. Alright, well, at least I can remand something. At least I can remand something. Fetches? I don't have, uh, I don't have, um, Shadow of Doubt in the deck anymore. Shadow of Doubt is cool, but I just felt like a lot of times it- I mean, it did come in clutch for us a lot, but I just think it'd be too, uh, too needy. Ooh, we can definitely shut down this deck. With our land denial, hopefully. We gotta keep them away from three mana. That's what we're trying to dodge this whole time. Swamp Cycles Twisted Abomination. Okay, well, we're definitely going to, um, Spreading Seas that, um, Grove the Burn Willows. We gotta make them not have green and red mana so they can't Violent Outburst or Demonic Dread. Most importantly, Demonic Outburst is what we have to stop. We're gonna try to never play a target for Demonic Dread, and when we do play a target for Demonic Dread, we'll make sure that we have Counterspell Backup. Alright, so let's start on Spreading Seas on that boy. Get it out of here. See if we can get a Seas Claim. Seas Claim would be great. No Seas Claim. Seas Claim would have been awesome there. What's up, Joakovo? What's up? What's up is Land Denial. That's what's up. Stomping Grounds. They still don't have the mana for Violent Outburst, and we're gonna stop that land. That land's going away. No no green or red mana for you. See, this is the good thing about having a place at a cease claim as well. Just to make sure we can deal with certain lands. Oh no! Simeon Spirit Guided for Violent Outburst. We're gonna have to bounce those dudes back to hand with like our boomerang effects and whatnot. So, we're gonna have to do that now. And then we'll have to cryptic bounce the other one. Alright, so let's Spreading Seas on the Stomping Ground. Draw a card. And then let's Eye of Nowhere, this Twisted Abomination. Actually, no, because that one that's the one that Swamp Cycles. And I don't want them to get more mana. So let's uh, Eye of Nowhere, this uh, Monstrous Carabid. And then hopefully we can find like a Tamiyo to just tap down that Twisted Abomination forever. That'd be great. This deck's main strength is making opponents think we're playing Merfolk? Yeah, definitely. But then they see the Gemstone Cavern and probably not. Dang it, stop drawing lands. Stop drawing lands. Okay. Gets in there. Annex! Annex is great. Okay, uh, so we can Annex... Uh, it's funny, we can annex blue mana. <laughs> um, but I I definitely want to get up to uh, to Frost Titan next turn so I can just block this dude and just tap down another land. So I think I'm going to annex their Blood Crypt. I could boomerang this, this thing and then leave up her man, but I think that's not worth it. I want to deny their mana. I can take another hit for five. That's fine. Now stop drawing lands, opponent. And then Frost Titan should be Ultra Clutch. Stop drawing lands. I remember there was this one time, the last time we played Mono Blue Fonza, there was this one opponent who just drew lands every single turn for like 20 turns. Soul Tie Mana? Just demonic. No, it's not demonic. Beast Within. Dang. Well, I need a land off the top. Ooh, they're offering the trade? I will take this trade. No targets for Demonic Dread for you. Sweet. The board's clear. Can I get a land? Oh, I got a land. All right. Frost Titan time. Now we close out the game in two turns. Hopefully they can't do anything about this. If they get red mana, they can. Demonic Dread. Actually, no. They need another land because uh, they have to, it's countered unless they pay two. But they still get the Cascade. And they don't have the colors for it. Sweet. Alright, we just gotta hold off. Just gotta hold off. Couple turns. 
Couple turns. So it means we're- Oh no, they got their red! They got their red for the demonic. Dang! That's so close though. If we just held up Cryptic Command though. They don't even have to pay. Now there's a living end and we're screwed. There goes our Frost Titan. Maybe we can bounce all these guys though. So, like, we can Eye of Nowhere, Snap, or we can Snap Eye of Nowhere and then Boomerang, bounce two guys, and then um, maybe we'll find another Frost Titan in the meanwhile. Uh, let's just pass and leave a Boomerang and Cryptic Command for now. We'll have to bounce some of their dudes back to their hand. Seek lays. What's up, Samurai Dance Rules? Could always tab draw. Yeah, I don't want to tab draw. I want to bounce it back to their hand so they can't cast it. Um. Do I tab draw? I could bounce draw one of them. Boomerang the other one. Is that even worth it, though? Like... A weird looking dude. Trying to find a Frost Titan. Fine. Fine, I'll tap draw. I feel like I should have bounced drawed. I'm regretting it. Encroaching Wastes. That is an okay one. All right, let's boomerang this Desert Ceratops. Beast within their Desert Ceratops. Oh, they're really trying to get there. They are really fighting. Frost Titan, dang it. Oh, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to snap Cryptic here. I can't afford to encroaching waste right now. Yeah, next living end gets back frosty. Oh, come on. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. Looks like I'm taking a huge hit here. Down to three. All right. Well, I guess we're going to snap cryptic to bounce draw. All right, so bounce target permanent on the beast token. Draw a card. Come on, Frost Titan. Frost Titan or Tamio. Frost Titan or Tamio. Tammy song. Cycles of Street Wraith. Oh, they're getting low. Now they're in range of Frost Titan plus Snapcaster hit. Now they're in range. Ah, oh, another snap. I mean, another Cryptic Command's good. Can I afford to Encroaching Waste plus Cryptic Command? That's nine total mana, and I have six, seven, eight mana. I'm one short. All right. Well, I'm going to have to go attacking for two, and then I'll have to Cryptic Tap, and then Snap Boomerang. Oh, we're getting close. We are getting close. Let's not click through again. <laughs> and this remand's actually gonna be clutch if they try to hard cast the dude. Which I feel like they will try to do. Yep, they're gonna try to hard cast the guy. What is this, Architects of Will? This looks like an Architects of Will. Yep, that's what we're going to try to do, Samurai. Oh, they, they suspend a living end. Alright, so we're going to tab draw. And we draw a land. Okay, do I flash and snap here? I don't. I don't flash and snap because I got a snap cryptic. And this is lethal. This is lethal. So play an island, 
and I attack for two, bring him to four, and then the next turn I snap Cryptic, and then I just attack for lethal. I attack for four. So this should be the game. With Reman backup, too. With Reman backup. So this should definitely be it. Living End ticks down. Yep. Let's not click through on accident again. Alright, snap. Grab the command. That's lethal. That's Mac lethal. Tap all permanents, tap all creatures your opponent's control, draw a card. With Reman backup. Do the end. Do the end. Come on. <laughs> Nurturing Peatland. Are they gonna crack it? Come on, crack it. Ooh, they're cracking it. Didn't even tap their blue mana. They tapped their black. Yeah! Alright, sweet. We got there. On to sideboarding. Uh... Leyline or Chows of the Void for zero seems great. Um, so Chows of the Void definitely coming in. Um, I like our spreading seas effects here. Um, our bounce effects are also pretty good. Um, what do I not want? Counter spells seem great. Counter spells seem really good here. I think Cryptic might be too slow though. Even though it did help, you know, Dissipation Field actually seems pretty decent. Dissipation Field does not seem bad. When they attack us with a creature, it returns back to their hand, so they'll have to, like, hard cast it again, and they're casting at a very slow rate. Um, Relic of Prague obviously seems good, but we also are bringing in Chalice. Oh, but we're putting Chalice on zero. So yeah, I was bringing a Relic. I think I'm going to cut Cryptic Command. Um, and Jace does not seem good here either, so let's cut Jace. I think we're just going for Frost Titan, Frost Titan beatdowns here. Um... So are we running it like this? But I kind of want the Dissipation Field. Something tells me the Dissipation Field should be good. Do I just cut some Eye of Nowheres? I don't know. I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna bring in Dissipation Field for like a few Eye of Nowheres. Try it like that. Narset oh, you're right. Narset stops cycling. But it doesn't stop cycling in our turn, which is the problem. Okay, I like this. Turn one sees claim I can shut down their land, bounce their next land, and relic. Seems good. I like this. I do need to hit my land drops, but once I get to Annex, that should be pretty good for ramping me to this Titan. I'm gonna keep this hand. Alright, bruh. So you excited for standard Demonic Tutor? No, I'm excited to put that into CDH. Like, I think that that's going to be a great CDH card, but for standard, not really. Um, Island and let's seize claim. No colors for you. Are they going to cycle? Are they going to cycle? Maybe I should have reliced. I don't know. Over the burn willow and passes. Gemstone caverns. All right, so let's go. Uh, boomerang your land. Er, yeah, yeah, let's boomerang the land. They let it go. They didn't have anything to cycle. Sweet. Come on, give me a land. Oh, another Seize Claim! That's so good. That's so good. <laughs> Come on, let it go. Let it go. Just let it go. And play a Relic and exile your graveyard. <laughs> this is so good. Alright, I need a land. I need a land. Get me to this, this Annex to ramp to Frost Titan and just close the game. This would be amazing. <laughs> Cycles of Street Wraith. Uh-oh. Did they find a land? They did. The swamp. But at least this relic's doing work. Oh, we got the land. Nice. Exile the Street Wraith, please. Now, annex this swamp. Give it to me. 
I want it. Haha, <laughs> sweet. And now we're holding up Relic too. I almost feel like just cracking this Relic, but I'm not. Come on, the land, the land. Oh, they're going to clean up. You think they gave up? Another spreading seeds. All right, I'm going to I'm going to hold on to that one. I'm going to hold on to that one. I'm not I'm not going to get greedy yet. I'm not going to get greedy yet. Like I I could just crack this relic or spreading seeds at any time to find a land, but I want to save my land destruction. Going to clean up again. There's our land, and here's Frost Titan. And this should be the nail in the coffin now. This should be the nail in the coffin. It is over. We got there. We took down Living End. I think that Living End is definitely a deck that Mono Blue Ponza can abuse because um, they like their stuff is at the sweet spot of three mana. Like three mana is their sweet spot. Um, so if we can deny that, that's great. And so, cause like, if we have like the f turns one through three clear, then, uh, to like, just do whatever land and destruction denial we want, then that's great. There's another relic. Sweet. All right. Let's spreading seize their last source. And let's play a backup relic. Oh, there's a backup seize claim as well. And uh, tap down Urtang. And they scoop it up. <laughs> the rage quit. And we got there. Frost Titan beatdowns. Mono Blue Ponza taking down Living End. Yo, what up guys? Post-production Marin here with a typical per video speed up session. Usually speed up the longest game in the video. And this was the longest game. We do this to make sure the video is not way longer than it should be. We're only doing one sped up round today. And as I always say, if you wanted to catch the full games unsped up, unedited, and uncut from the video, you can go to the Twitch link down below in the description and watch the entire VOD there. So in this round, I wanted to showcase this deck off. Our opponent's deck was pretty cool. So they have an Abon. And nothing else. I'm able to snap cast the Ambush Viper and block that. And I end up getting out Tamiyo and Frost Titan. Locking down a bunch of lands and stuff. But they still have so much mana that they're currently doing nothing with. So I have no idea what's going on here. And then I see Venzer. I see Silvergill. And I'm like, okay. I see what Nabon is trying to do here. Nabon is trying to act as a Panormonicon for these wizards. So they can get double bounce triggers off Venzer. Double draws off Silvergill. Double draws off of Seagate Oracle. Double tap downs off of Merfolk Trickster. So with that Merfolk Trickster, they're able to clutch it out and tap down our, our Frost Titan that was about to bop them. And uh, now they got a Reflective Mage bouncing the Titan, so I can't recast it for a couple turns. Opponent is down to two, and they're pressuring my Tamiya like crazy. So I'm able to Cryptic Tap here and at least save myself for a turn. And I can get the Frost Titan back out, but I also have to survive. So I'm able to get the Frost Titan back out, take a hit for a bit. And they got the, the Merfolk Trickster to tap it down. So what I can do is untap and Cryptic Command to tap all their blockers and go attacking. But they have another answer. I forgot what the answer was. It was another, uh, it was the Path to Exile. And uh, that is the game. I didn't think they had Path to Exile on their deck because they didn't reveal it the entire time. But they drew one at the very last moment. The turn I was about to swing lethal. So that's pretty unfortunate. So we go on to the next game. And uh, I deny some mana for a bit. I got Cryptic to deny more mana. I got everything to deny mana. We got five mana before they got one. And uh, I, I'm just drawing absolutely nothing. I'm getting flooded. I'm drawing nothing but things that do nothing. And at this point, I'm just like, please give me a bomb off the top. The only way I can claw my way back into this game, if I get Frost Titan into Frost Titan. And funny enough, that is exactly what we get. But then it ends up not mattering because... Uh, what was it they had here? I forget, but they had something here. I'll remember in a second. They had, yeah, the master waves to double up, make a million dudes, and we die. So we ended up with three total wins, and I honestly feel like we should have got way more wins, but we were just getting so land screwed today. Like, we played um, a lot of rounds, and we got land screwed dozens of times. Dozens. And it's just like... 
it was literally just pure luck of, of, of today's day of magic. Like there's variants in magic. One day you could 6-0 with your deck. One day you can 0-6 with your deck. And this was just one of them days where we just got all the bad luck in the world. And we just got land screwed left and right. We did get a few sweet wins. So hopefully you saw that during the video. So um, I hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button if you did. Um, the, the deck works out fine. Although if I had to change anything... What would I change? I think that I liked Annex. I liked Annex into Frost Titan. I would definitely go up to a play set of Annex and a play set of Frost Titan because it seems so important. I think I just overall want more bombs because there was a lot of times where we were able to deny lands but didn't find bombs. And so I would definitely want to go up to a play set of Annex and a play set of Frost Titan so I have something to actually work towards. Um, and I think that. Remand is pretty good, but it felt like most of the time I wanted to just like deny mana instead. So like maybe it actually might be worth it to run a few copies of Wipe Away instead to have even more land bounds because it felt like games where we are on the play where we had double of this effect, it just felt so good to just bounce or turn one land, bounce or turn two land, and then I have four lands whereas the opponent has zero on board. So that just that's just a feels good man. So I might just want some more land bounds, just like a few Wipe Aways. But I think you gotta you gotta accept that you're not beating Aether Vile decks. So I think that if you're actually if you were seriously trying to build this deck competitively, you should definitely splash another color. If you do splash another color, it should probably be red because you get a braid for um you get a braid for the um for the whatchamacallits. The uh the Aether Vials, or you could splash green for like nature's claim, but you also get plow under or something like that if you're going greener. You get some other stuff from green, like you get Mwanvoli acid moss instead of annex, like things like that. Um there's also a lot of cheap um land hate you get in red. Like if you were going red, you just go you just go stone rain and molten rain, and you could just have all the land destruction in the world into Jace Tamiya Frost Titan. So like Blue red will probably work out really good. And we definitely got to play this deck again with the red build with Stone Rains because that would definitely be good. You also get Blood Moon, by the way, which if you have Blood Moon, you just further deny their, their colors. And I think that honestly, Gemstone Caverns color screwed us. I do not like Gemstone Caverns. I think that, like, while it's cute that, like, on the draw, like, you get more mana so that you can turn one boomerang and I have nowhere in Spreading Seas, it's cool. And yeah, sometimes it did work. But a lot of the times, we just wanted double blue and it was color screwing us when it was in our opener and we were like on the play or something it would just like color screw us so i would definitely cut gemstone caverns like screw that thing but encroaching wastes i still very much like encroaching wastes it came in clutch a lot of times but if you're gonna go with the blue red version you can definitely afford to cut that because you're gonna have a lot more land denial and you're gonna have things like blood moon turning off their non-basic lands anyways so i think that you definitely do not want encroaching waste if you're going blue red so let me know what you think about the deck in the comments down below. What would you do to the deck? And let me know a deck list you want to see for a future video. Feel free to, feel free to DM, DM me on social media. Social media links are down below. And also the Twitch link as well if you want to catch one of these live streams. We currently stream Magic the Gathering every Saturday, Monday, and Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific time. I'm going to get out of here. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks to all the subscribers and the patrons in the chat. And I'll catch you in the next video. <coughs> Oh, I botched that ending. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs>